Chances are that you don't give more than a few seconds of thought each day to charging your phone. Hopefully you remember to do it before you go to bed and that's about it, right? But what if you just kind of passed out after a night of heavy drink uh, CSGO and woke up the next day realizing you forgot to plug it in, your battery bank is in a nightclub couch cushion somewhere, and you have to leave the house in half an hour? Enter fast charging, a feature supported by some modern phones and tablets that you power it up in the time that it takes to have a rinse only shower, grab a cereal bar, and get your shoes on. You see, the reason many devices take such a long time to charge normally is the limited amount of power many common wall chargers can push to your phone or tablet at once, typically 5 watts or less. This is a design choice that keeps manufacturing costs for basic wall warts low and also ensures that the relatively small batteries inside of mobile gadgets won't fry from being overloaded with too much power. But in reality, many mobile devices can handle more than this thanks to internal circuitry that sets a maximum amount of wattage that will hit your battery at one time. Fast chargers take advantage of that by adjusting the voltage, amperage, or both to deliver up to 20 watts or even higher if your device supports the technology. Whoa, 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 hold on a second, Luke. Supported technology? What needs to be supported? We're just clobbering a battery with electrons. Well, there are a lot of factors, but one of the most basic ones is that with higher power comes higher heat. So a device without enough internal room for the battery to expand might end up damaged if it gets charged too quickly. So for that reason, many companies that developed fast charging technology have implemented a handshaking process between the charger and phone or tablet to make sure they're both certified to support the extra power. Samsung's Fast Charge and OnePlus's Dash Charge are both popular protocols, but perhaps the most widespread one is Qualcomm Quick Charge, which is found on a large number of Android devices. So this means that just because a charger says it supports 2.5 amps at 5 volts doesn't necessarily mean that it'll charge your phone super fast. And there are other caveats as well. Although many devices that support fast charging do come with compatible chargers, you'll pay a premium for extra ones. And you might need to buy slightly nicer cables too, as cheap, thin 28 gauge cords often can't handle the extra current very well. Also remember that as we mentioned, fast charging can generate more heat, which is harder on your battery and may shorten its longevity. A real concern now that so many phones are very difficult to open if you want to put in a new one. Plus, fast charging is much more useful when your battery is significantly drained and you need a really quick partial charge to keep you afloat for a little while. Speeds tend to taper off significantly as your phone gets closer to 100%, so unlike filling up at a fast pump gas station for the big rigs, don't expect to go from empty to full with blazing speeds. Though at least you won't have to pay 50 bucks every time you need a recharge, or more. Not everyone just wants a VPN for privacy concerns or to get around geo restrictions. Believe it or not, some people actually want to use a VPN as it was intended to manage traffic in a secure way. Countless businesses use VPNs every day to work securely in the office or while traveling. The downside is enterprise level VPNs can be incredibly expensive and complicated to set up and use. Tunnel Bear for Teams changes all of that. You can painlessly add your whole team to the account, giving you the ability to easily change, update, and manage users without complicated interfaces or setup by a network admin. Tunnel Bear for Teams comes with priority support, easy team management, and lots of Bears. Start your seven day free trial at tunnelbear.com slash Linus. All right guys, like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you dislike it, get subscribed, hit the little bell and get notified for all of our videos when they go live because learning is awesome and TechWiki is awesome because of learning. Also check out Channel Super Fun, they do cool things over there and leave title suggestions down below in the comments. T title suggestions? Video suggestions for things that we should cover, not, not title suggestions. We, we got that covered. I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to go uh, fight someone with this. <laughs>